Well, I have a confession to make. There may be lots of Gamma Katsu hooks on the market, but the one I love the most is the Octopus Circle. It is such a great hook. I've got to say, it's almost idiot proof. If you use it properly, it'll hook the fish for you and it'll help that fish stay hooked up all the way till you get it in the boat. They are such a beautiful hook for so many different types of fishing, but I do love them. Deep water, big baits, waiting for that thump. Now, when you get the thump, it's important, do not strike with the circle hook. Sometimes we actually leave the rod in the holder and we don't touch it until line is coming off the reel and we know that fish is hooked. So the theory is fish swallows the bait. As it slowly starts to load, the hook comes back out, grabs the hinge of the jaw, pops in beautifully, and once it's in there, it does very rarely fall out. Now, I wanna show you how I rig my circle hooks. Firstly, there's a double snell there. You can see I've got the 8 on the bottom, then I've got the 6 snell snelled above. This is just perfect for fleshy fish, baits, squid, etc. And all you do, Grab your bait, and it's important to put that main hook in first. So that goes in the skin side, and you put it down the bottom of the fillet because you really want to make sure that when that fish takes it, it's going to get the end of the bait where the hook is. That slides and rolls back around. Always important too, you'll end up with a scale on the end of your hook there. That will not penetrate if the scale's on the end. So pull that off, clean it up, and then the key here, make sure your bait's not too long. So I'm actually going to trim that, just cut that off. You don't want that bit dagging around. Scissors are so good for that. And then that top hook literally just pins through the top of the bait, push it through, and you want to make sure that bit of line between the top hook and the back hook there has always that little bit of slack in it. That way, the bait is being presented off that top hook. The bottom hook really is just a stinger. That's going to sit in the current beautifully. When a fish comes along, seriously, how is he going to miss these hooks? Now, I've heard people say, make sure you hide the hook in the bait. That is not true. Get plenty of hook presented. Make sure when the fish grabs it, it's going to do its job. How could you miss out? That is that one done. Circle hooks make it so simple. This is called a chunk bait, and it literally is a chunk of fish that I've cut straight out of the middle of the body. Get your big octopus circle, literally just pin it under the flesh because the flesh will hold it in place. Pull it back out, make sure it's square, and that is just the perfect bait for so many fish. It's gonna sit beautifully. The hook isn't too heavy, so it's not gonna hold it down. And when something comes along, tell me, how is it physically not gonna find that hook? So, when you're heading offshore, trying different things, remember the Gamma Katsu Octopus Circle. They seriously are so good. And remember, I reckon they're idiot proof, because they work for me.